This is the first of a three-part series advising nurse staffing agencies how they can get paid quicker. So basically, there's a lot of, there's a lot of competition when it comes to healthcare staffing agencies. And typically, what we see as a factoring company that when you know the competition starts to heat up, a lot of basic business instincts go out the window, and they're replaced with a lot of poor business decisions. For example, a lot of business owners focus more on their potential to create revenue rather than actively preventing losses. So the first part of this series is going to talk about you know, the first step in really making sure that nurse staffing agencies can get paid quicker. So what comes to mind? What's the first way you can get paid quicker? Obviously send out your invoices on time, right? Well, there's actually a step before that that happens. Um, and that is really that your, your nurse staffing agencies should take the time to do a little bit of due diligence on their potential clients even before they sign on that dotted line and accept that contract. So there's a couple of things that business owners can do. Um, many of them are free. For example, you know, take about 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to jump on the web and do some basic web searches. Oftentimes these big medical facilities or even physicians practices, uh, clinics, they're going to you know, look up, they're going to have press releases, they're going to have articles written about them. Uh, maybe even court records will be found if you do a quick you know, web search on the facility. For example, if a large hospital is on the verge of bankruptcy, the press is going to catch wind of that and they're going to publish it and that information would be available to anyone and everyone on the web. The second thing you can do is to visit the facility's actual website and what this does is basically gives you you know, a broad scope of how big the organization is, how long it's been in business, how professional they appear. Obviously if they have a very nice website in this day and age it gives you a good feeling that the company is you know, in good financial standing, they'll be around for a while and they're worth doing business with. So the third thing that you want to look into when doing some due diligence ahead of time is to see if the facility is in good standing with the Secretary of State. Basically all you have to do is visit the Capital Services website and there's a huge list uh, of all the state's Secretary of State databases that you can have access to for researching corporate records. Most states are free that the search is free. Uh, some states charge a very nominal fee. You can also look into you know, business rating organizations such as the Better Business Bureau uh, and you know even just as simple as asking other industry professionals maybe you have some friends who already have a nurse staffing agency or colleagues and they're currently working staffing in the facilities you're thinking of going to, you know, just casually ask them what they think about the payment trends and payment terms and how the facility operates. And finally, you can always watch the local news, read the newspaper, um, because basically if a big hospital is going down, then there's going to be a lot of news, a lot of talk about that. So stay in the know. And Finally, the last free thing you can do will usually only take about five to ten minutes and that's making a basic call to the accounts payable department at the facility. You know, explain to an accounts payable clerk that you're a nurse staffing vendor, you're considering working with them, and you're just trying to get an idea of what the typical payment trends are. You know, should you expect uh, turnaround time in 30 days? Should you expect payment in 60 days or longer? An accounts payable clerk really has no reason to lie about this, so they'll be upfront and they'll tell you, oh yeah, you know, I cut checks on the first of the month, or they might even give you information about how to ensure that you get paid quicker, such as emailing the invoices instead of mailing them. Now if you do have a little bit more money, uh, then you can certainly subscribe to one of the larger credit bureaus, such as Experian.com or Dun & Bradstreet, and run some credit reports for the facilities where you're thinking of doing business. However much information 
you want to find out, however deep you want to dig, is completely up to you. But the main point we wanted to get across in this first part of the series is to take the time to do your due diligence before you accept the contract.